Here we go. Okay. Hi. I'll I'll take that out. <laughs> I was just itching, itching my nose for. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Okay, Anthony's vlog. <laughs> and right now I'm on the grounds where uh, the spirit, the soul who once called him, well, who calls himself Harold, once lived. And I'm here with Camille. And she actually bought the bag that you see Harold in. And Harold was uh, in when he was on Ghost Adventures. It's the same bag Zach carried into the shack. So Camille bought it because he was in a Dwayne Reed bag and he thought she thought he deserved better than that. So Camille, I was just wondering if you could very quickly share your thoughts, a couple of experiences about the doll. Sure. Uh, well, the bag is a no big thing at all. It's just what it was. And Anthony was carrying it around all the time. And I thought, well, you know what? Also a shoulder bag. I kind of liked the idea of him having that. Anyway, um, many experiences I had before I even was aware that Anthony, that you held this doll or was in, um, had acquired it, you had, you know, carried it with you, and often in my car, it seemed like I would get headaches. I am prone to migraines, and many, many times when we would spend the day together or something, and you would be bring this doll with you, I was unaware that it had or what the story was behind it, and most every single time I would feel ill or at least get a headache mm. as I do right now and I just took some medicine um, I, I just feel an aversion every time I look at it I don't know why it's like ugh. Um, I believe definitely in the goodness of the divine and I believe that there is a dark side and there is something to this uh, the stories it makes me grieve actually because I feel bad for the entities that are in there, uh, the innocence, the souls, and so I would like this to be solved and undone. The only real experience that I, I remember very well was a time where the deputy sheriffs were going to help in solving some mysteries around it, literally. And I was standing behind them. They were seated at a table. The doll was on the table and looking. And I just remember standing just slightly back and to, it, to the left of them. And the doll's eyes looked to the left. And I don't think that it looked directly at me. But I just felt that it kind of scanned the room. And mm. it, it was... Um, I noticed that, and I asked the guys if they had seen that, and they neither of them had seen that happen at the time. But um, anyway, that was something that I was I had absolutely noticed and was uncomfortable with. So, one last question: mm -hmm. If I put you in front of a firing squad mm -hmm. and said you lie, you die, mm -hmm. and asked you, do you believe that there really is something that there's some thing going on with this doll that's dark and evil and whatnot. What would you say? I would agree with you. Okay. And if that's the case, why are you sitting next to it? Uh, because you've asked me to. <laughs> Otherwise. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Right now? Yeah, I am. It's... Um... It gives me inner shivers, like, ugh. <laughs> okay. Do I have to, you know, I don't know. It just, I don't know what it is. It's... <laughs> All right. I just... Every time I look at the eyes, too, I almost see something different. It's... I don't know why. Hmm. I do. Yeah, it's, it's just not comfortable. I'm okay. So you'd be happy if we ended this interview right now? Yes, I would. Okay, <laughs> that's what we'll do. Thanks, Kavil. I appreciate you. And uh, we'll talk more. Um, I'll talk with you more about what happened here on the grounds where the man who now calls himself Harold lives or lived at one time. And Camille actually gave me an important clue, which actually might have put another puzzle piece into place, but 
trying to find out more details is just has been crazy as Camille witnessed. Uh, am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to shut this thing off, and uh, we're going to go have lunch, and we'll put the doll somewhere, and hopefully you won't get sick. <laughs> er, er. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Camille. You're welcome.